Hey everyone, Smiles here. Today I'm going to show you how I vlog. I'll show you the equipment I use and how I prepare, shoot, and edit my videos. I'll walk you through the whole process using an actual episode from my Ice Age Trail through hike as an example. This topic was suggested by one of my subscribers. So Venture, this is for you. The equipment I use is an iPhone 12 mini with these six apps, Kindle, Far Out, Camera, iMovie, YouTube, and Google Keep. Also, a seven inch rubber band on my trekking pole as a tripod. For the Ice Age Trail, I look in the guidebook and I look in a book, The Geology of the Ice Age National Scenic Trail. If I want a diagram from the geology book, I'll use my Kindle app on my iPhone because that way I can get it in full color. The guidebook says the trail goes along the western edge of a drumlin swarm. So I'll grab a screenshot from the Far Out app to show the topography. And then I mark up that image to highlight the drumlins. During the actual hike, I think about what I want to share in terms of short shots. Usually I record for just three seconds. I want to take a shot down that trail with the tree on the right. I'm just going to hold up my camera and turn on the video and count to three. Most of my shots are anchored. I'm not panning. I'm not zooming. I'm not moving. Instead of zooming, I'll take multiple shots getting closer and closer. Here's some cool logs with snow and ice on them. That'd be one shot. Then I step closer for another shot and closer still for a third shot. If I want to record some narration to put behind some other shots, I'll shoot that in portrait mode so I can spot it more easily when I'm editing. I thought the ice and snow on these logs was pretty cool. When I do pan or if I'm talking, I'll hold the shot for longer than three seconds. This is Sans Creek. You can see it's got a large floodplain around it. If I want a shot of me walking, I'll put my phone on my trekking pole using that rubber band. Put it in selfie mode, and then I'll lean it up against a tree, walk away for a bit, and then walk back. You can also turn the trekking pole upside down and take shots of your feet while you're walking. Good video shots are like good photographs. Think about things like Here's an foreground and background. Think about different angles you can use. Think about the rule of thirds, where you imagine dividing up your screen into thirds, both vertically and horizontally, and then try to make the focus of your photograph be one of the four corners. After the hike, I'll use the iMovie app to create and edit the video. I'll zoom out from the timeline to make the shots appear really short. I'll change all the transitions from dissolve to none. I'll edit the still shots down to two seconds and the moving shots down to three or four seconds. Here's one of those narration videos that was shot and hit detach to pull the audio off of it. Then I'll move the audio over to the shots that I want it to be associated with and delete the video that was with that narration. I can mute each of these. 
These are the three log shots, different zoom levels. I thought the ice and snow on these logs was pretty cool. Now I want to add in that screenshot that I touched up with the drumlins. So I'll add photo and it. And then instead of hitting plus, I'm going to hit the three dots and ask it to do a split screen. I'll take a screenshot from the video to be my YouTube thumbnail. When I'm done editing, I'll save the video to my photo library and upload it to YouTube. I'll copy and paste a template of the description from Google Keep and then edit it in YouTube. I'll add the video to my through hike playlist and replace the thumbnail photo. You can view the upload progress in Manage Videos. Just one last tip. I highly recommend this book, How to Shoot Video That Doesn't Suck by Steve Stockman. It's just an incredible resource. He talks about so many different aspects of shooting videos and coming from an actual director's perspective. This book completely transformed the way that I make videos. Happy vlogging!